it is very very unfortunate that uh, the deputy president can lead a battalion you know of leaders who come to uh, the, the i mean the neighborhood of his excellency uru kenyatta and uh, basically to hurl insults to the president and they are hurling those insults basically because the president has expressed his wish and his preference and you know we they have always been saying that uh, his excellency uru kenyatta has one vote yes the president has it one vote and he has uh, his democratic right to choose which leader he would want you know to succeed him with that, that one vote so that one must be respected the second one we cannot entertain leaders who every other day you know are spreading hatred you know they are profiling communities the utterances by the MP for Katodo South, very, very unfortunate utterances, which we want to say as Kikuyus, we want to disassociate ourselves from the sentiments that were expressed by Honorable Moses Kuria. That is not the stand of the Kikuyus, that is not the stand of leaders, and we cannot in any way be associated with those kind of um, utterances. Secondly, we also want to uh, beseech the Deputy President. Nobody comes to your compound to insult you. Nobody goes to Sugoi, or nobody has ever organized a rally in Tarbo to come and uh, insult you. Nobody has ever organized a meeting, you know, in, in Kisumu to go and insult Raira and Amoro Dinga. Why would you find it fit, you know, to lead that battalion, to come and insult the president, demean the president, and at the same time you are, you are seeking votes from us? My friend, I want to advise you and give you free advice. You might come with the goons and uh, the cheerleaders who are with you on that day. But the sober Kikuyu voter, the sober uh, Kenyan voter, will not be intimidated, will not be swayed by the insults that you are directing to uh, the office of the president. And it behoves you to be, I mean, to hold with respect the office that you hold of the deputy president. And for your information, we are all aware that you reside from Jubilee. And uh, curiously, you have registered in UDA using your passport, as opposed to where you are supposed to use your ID. So that you, also, you still remain as a member of Jubilee with your ID, but you have also gone to uh, UDA, you know, with uh, your passport. I mean, honestly, is that, is that the level of dishonesty that you, we have in the country? Is that, is that the kind of leader that we would want in the country? I beg to differ. 